Hi everyone, so I'm here today with a Coachella inspired makeup tutorial. I'm using my Crayolan TV Paint Stick Foundation in shade OB2 and I'm applying that with my Beauty Blender. And then next I'm going to go in with my Crayolan Concealer Wheel to help conceal underneath my eye area and I'm also going to use it to brighten certain areas of the face as well. Next I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in shade Chestnut and I'm using this to contour the face. I'm going in now with my Crayolan Translucent Loose Powder in shade T11 and I'm using this product to bake. I'm now going in with my Inglot AMC Brow Gel in shade 16 and I'm using an angled brush to apply this to the brows to sharpen them and give them a little bit more fullness. Next we have an eye base. I'm actually using a concealer for an eye base today. I'm using the MAC Select Cover Up in shade NC20. I'm using it to carve out my brow to create a sharper sort of line and also filling out all of the lid for an eye base. For eyeshadow today, I'm using the Ingot Freedom System shade 311 and it's a really beautiful peachy coral colour and I'm using this as a transition colour in my crease. Next I'm going in with this beautiful blue, it's an Ingot shade 371 and I'm using this underneath my eyes and I'm taking it quite far down and blowing it out. I'm now going in with Inglot shade 464 and it's a beautiful burnt orange colour. I'm using this in the outer corners of the eye to really give the eye some shape. I'm now going in with a brow bone highlight in shade number 30. It's a beautiful golden tone and it's one of my favourites. Going in again with the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer and I'm carving out sort of half of my lid. This is going to sharpen up the area for the next step and also act as a sticky sort of base. Now for my most favourite part of the tutorial, I'm using a Glitter Injections Pressed Glitter in a gold shade and I'm just using my finger to apply that to the lid. I'm now taking 464 once again and just deepening up the outsides of the eye. Going in now with shade 495 from the Inglot Freedom System and I'm sort of creating a little bit more of a softer cut crease and it's a deeper pink as well so it's going to give it a little bit more vibrancy. Now taking the Freedom System Sculpting Powder in shade 502, I'm using this to contour, sculpt and I guess warm up the face a little. So here I'm just contouring my nose, I actually used a blush colour for this, shade 27 from the Freedom System at Inglot, and I also used it on my cheek like normal, but I also wanted to use it on my temples as well, I thought it would give it a little bit more of a fun sort of vibe. <laughs> Now for the waterline, I'm taking the Inglot Coal Pencil in shade 05. It's a beautiful cream colour to open up the eyes. Next, I'm taking the Astralis 
liquid strobe drops and I'm using my beauty blender to apply this to the highest points of my face. I absolutely love this product. To further intensify the highlight, because we can, I'm using the Balm Mary Luminizer Pressed Highlight Powder. And to give the look a little bit more of a festival feel, I'm using the same pressed glitter that I did on my lids, under my eyes and up my cheekbones. For lipstick today, I used the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick. I'll put the name of the product in the description bar for you. And then I also use the Inglot Shadow number 30 in the center of my lips to make the lips look really pouty. And for lip liner, I use the Inglot Cosmetics Lip Liner number 74. And off camera, because I forgot to film it, I did put a little bit of glitter on my lips as well. So here I'm just using some clear lash glue with some stars and rhinestones I found at a craft store as well as a bindi and I also did put some lashes on from Lashes by Maze in the style Boss Girl. So that's the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. I will mention a big thank you to Ella from Ella's Bridal Hair on Instagram for doing my hair for this look, she's amazing. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you all in my next video, bye!